Right, here we are, yeah. Here woods. Uh, Cambridge, Royal Enfield. Look what I'm on, yeah, Himalayan. Oh, marvellous. Can you believe it? Um, let's get going and oh, turn the dial as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's only done 13 miles. Um, let's get going. Well, it doesn't sound that different from the 411, I've got to say. Um, but let's just see how it goes. So, you know the route. I shall go and have a look at the um, cone. Oh, I should have gone. Right, here we go. So, I don't know what the running in procedure is for this. So, I shall just take it steady. Yeah. Um, it's just a pleasure to be on it. And I've got to say, sitting on it, you feel pretty comfortable and in quite a nice position. Uh, feel like I'm sort of surveying everything. Do you know what I mean? Tiny little screen there. Um, obviously doesn't do a great deal except finish the look of it off, I think. Uh, the clock. One big round clock. Gear indicator. Um, speed in numbers. Rev counter around the outside. But not analogue. It's all digital. Yeah. And of course you can hook up your phone and do all that malarkey if you want. Fuel gauge round the middle there. This baby's lit full. And I suspect it sips at the uh, sips at the fuel. Yeah. Oh, what else we got? Got Mickey Mouse mirrors. Um, just need a little bit of adjustment for me. Yeah, I think that needs to come forward. That one's perfect. Um, all the switch gear just looks lovely, doesn't it? Uh, this one's, oh, I can't remember what you call it, but it's the black and gold one. Yeah, with, oh, we're going too fast there. Need to be doing 40. Um, yeah, absolute privilege to be on it. Haven't had to touch the brakes yet, so we'll find out in a minute. Now, oh, there we go handling just feels lovely oh too high a gear that's not good for it is it but we got over it there we go um buff it in from that little screen uh, just around my chest area yeah i don't know I, I wonder what the running in is i reckon if i don't go much more than 45 be more than within its limits won't it clutch feels nice and light there we go um, yeah so we've got 40 brake horsepower and 40 newton meters at all just keeping an eye out for traffic behind because I'm not going to go crazy, I'm going to stick at 45-ish. Um, yeah, 40 brake horsepower, 40 newton metres of torque, something like that. Uh, it's got a seat height uh, with the standard seat of 825 at its low setting, adjustable to 845. So it's a tall baby, but they do do a lower seat option which comes out at 805 millimetres, I think. Uh, yeah. So on here, on a blustery day, it's not getting moved about at all. Right, so down there, absolutely no problem at all. Got a van stopped on the roundabout. Bit odd. Give it a wide berth. So, you, it doesn't like pulling 
from um, too high a gear I can tell you that and I'm trying to keep it steady so I'll just have to be mindful of that um, uh, show a front forks of course loads of ground clearance the seat is nice and firm back suspension just seems absolutely perfect as a competitor for the uh, Triumph 400 Scrambler X this feels quite substantial in comparison feels quite a bit heavier uh, but there you go yeah what else can I say uh, 30 miles an hour if you please uh, they do some fantastic colours including beige yeah <laughs> I don't think it's called beige I think they call it do they call it Sahara or something like that but it's basically beige uh, I quite like this this is the cheapest model it has uh, tubed wheels and quite frankly that's fine by me I think if I get a puncture I don't want to be messing about at the side of the road anyway because I don't carry that sort of stuff about with me um, maybe I ought to yeah so over there this is a bumpy old road as well and it's absolutely no trouble get the indicator on and possibly the worst road in Cambridge oh and we've got a dog there we go two dogs marvellous let's get down here and then we'll do a walk round now it's unfair to compare it to the Triumph 400 um, because I wasn't taking it quite so steady with that or the speed 400 for that matter but this road seems to take it very easily yeah cranky there's a lot of flies about yeah oh I'm very impressed with it down this road very impressed indeed so really sixth at this sort of speed is barely it's it's, it's barely utilizing it at all just look at the state of this road bumpity bump all over the place you probably can't pick it up on the camera but I mean it isn't smooth shall we say but let's have a little look when we get down here so just down here we've got uh, the cone or hopefully we've got the cone crikey yeah there's a real dip there you won't have seen yeah uh, what I did notice is you can barely see the indicator yeah um, I've got sunglasses on um, but yeah there we go um, yeah if I put the indicator on it's not the brightest but maybe you can adjust that I don't know maybe it's just my sunglasses turn it off side stand down and unlike unlike the old Hemi this one leans right over yeah but there you go the new Royal Enfield Himalayan 450 yeah oh, doesn't it look nice in that colour so let's have a look at it um, this like I said this is the basic model this has tube tyres but the gold wheels and I don't think you can get the gold wheels as tubeless but and I like them that sort of anodized goldy coloured the upside down forks um, from Showa 
uh, two mud guards, a high one. It's going to keep it clean in winter, isn't it? That radiator looks quite neat, doesn't it? With that plastic cover over it. Yeah, I like that. And of course the belly pan underneath. And this black and gold is just lovely. I really do. I can't believe that this is one of the cheaper models. But there you go. Uh, li diddy little exhaust. Um, yeah, that's about all you can say about it. The seat magically adjusts itself. Yeah, you've got 20 mil of play. Um, I've got it on the highest setting at the moment. Uh, the indicators, lovely. Um, and the lights, I'll put those on in a minute and show you. Back seat comes off. Um, and tool kit under there and everything. Of course, it's got a centre stand. It weighs in at just shy of 200 kilograms. It's quite heavy. It's got to be said, compared to the Triumphs, it's heavy. Uh, but it, feel, it gives you a solid feeling, which I quite like. I assume the crash bars are standard. Nice round headlamp as well. But let me show you the clock. Yeah. Um, so, let's have a look at the lights. So I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get it so that you can from that. Right, put the indicator on. And back. And the indicator is in the middle of the light. Now obviously you can't see that because of the... Um, it's daylight. It's actually quite difficult to see the... The, uh, the lights. Yeah. Uh, which I think is lovely really nice all the switch gear feels nice and solid it feels like a step up um, obviously you've got the menu button there uh, no heated grips or anything don't know if there is anywhere a power takeoff i assume there is um, and that it is maybe under the seat yeah uh, anyway the cone is round the corner, just over there. Um, I'm sure he likes it. I will have to get him out though. But there you go, Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. Just wonderful. Let's get back on and do the census test. Right, back on board. Ding. Look at that, marvellous. Right. There we go. Now, let's get going. It tells you if your side stands down as well. I don't, I'm not in the habit of leaving that down. I could do with self cancelling indicators though. There we go. Uh, loads of room in the seat to move about if you're tall like me. And I tell you what, it rides these bumps. Just lovely. <laughs> Got a wasp in my helmet. <laughs> marvellous. I say marvellous because, <laughs> you know, it means summer's coming. So, what I'll do is, I'll go into Maddenley and we'll have a little look. At the village that's got everything. Yeah, uh, this road, terrible, terrible road. So it's got a terrible road. It's got telephone box and um, there is a post box somewhere as well. Telephone box, thatched cottage, uh, small child, dogs, three horseshoes pub, marvellous for a drink. Uh, I'll show be there in summer. Speed bumps. Uh, and of course Maddenley College, Ca Cambridge University. Wonderful. Now this is open. Oh, and it says road ahead closed, but let's go up and just have a little look.
and of course we're in the 30 um, what will be the test for this and I can't do it today is going to be the motorway speed isn't it is it how happy is it sat at 70 miles an hour I mean I can't tell from this the engine feels as laid back as the 411 so yeah marvellous so the handling is just lovely as we come round this roundabout taking it nice and steady of course but there you go and we'll get back down into Maddenley now and uh, get through the senses and straight off uh, taste well this has got to be some kind of uh, toffee I reckon uh, you know the licorice toffee with maybe a caramel center yeah oh just lovely um, uh, probably pulls a few uh, fillings out as well wonderful uh, let's see what the speedo says compared to that well it says 31 and it wasn't flashing so I'm guessing it's probably a couple of miles an hour out but that oh no that's 30 so that's picked us up that we were doing more than 30 doesn't tell us how fast um, but yeah so that's what it tastes like anyway um, a nice licorice toffee licorice flavoured toffee with a bit of caramel in it beautiful uh, smell it smells lovely it is literally brand new um, and when I say that I mean literally I watched them put the battery on <laughs> yeah <laughs> wonderful eh um, but there you go um, so yeah it smells gorgeous and then what does it look like now this is the rub it sort of looks like sorry I've just put my visor down a little bit it sort of looks like the old Himalayan they've tried to keep it a little bit like that but it's also become a little bit generic uh, in its looks I think which doesn't bother me there's enough difference about it with the bars and the Himalayan badge and what have you <coughs> yeah um, to make it different I like it uh, do I like it more than the Triumph it's completely different to the Triumph they're not competitors they are on price I guess um, though this is more expensive by £500 uh, but I th you're getting a heavier bike yeah that's what I'd say uh, you pay more, you're paying £500 more and you're getting more metal so there you go um, I'm not loiter on that uh, yeah that's what it looks like possibly a little generic but also a little bit like the 411 Hemi then what we got touch and feel well again uh, Royal Enfield have got that sewn up now I think I reckon yeah they've really nailed down the quality and hopefully there'll be no issues with it I'd like to well I've got to come back and ride it when it's running because I really want to know what it's like on the motorway um, it doesn't feel as buzzy as the Triumph I will say uh, maybe a bit more vibration uh, but that's about it yeah so quality yeah top notch whoa look at that did you see that it doesn't like being in too high a gear that's for sure so you are going to have to 
keep it sort of above 4,000 revs any lower than that and it doesn't like seem to like pulling from it but that could be just because it's not running I don't know it could just be me being a, a buffoon or, which of course you all know I am yeah um, then the sound what does it sound like it sounds to me it sounds a little bit like the 411 yeah considering it's liquid cooled the end it's lost none of its character I'm absolutely astounded that it hasn't lost any character at all and yet looks so modern in comparison um, the exhaust note well it's got emissions to get through and regulations for sound etc um, and fuel economy and all that lot so it sounds okay I quite like the sound it's uh, a chattery engine is what I'd say um, and then of course the sixth sense well have they done it I think they might have I know I really really didn't think that they could do that with a bike that looks like this that's liquid cooled but I think they damn well have which is, sort of throws a spoke in my plans let's get the indicator on um, and I'm back and I've got to give it back but this is a real contender for a winter bike yeah marvellous or even a summer bike or a spring bike and an autumn bike yeah but let me just get stopped here oh there's Jerry having a cup of tea look at that oh and there's Tim marvellous uh, let's get the side stand down over we go have one little last look at it there you go Royal Enfield Himalayan here at Haywards amongst all this glorious metal Ta-ta!